Das müsste du. Do you recall the good old days of childhood when you endlessly explored nature, hunting for treasure using your self-drawn map? Most of you probably haven't found a genuine treasure. Yet you did not come home empty-handed, discovering the surrounding jewels of nature instead. It might have been a beautiful flower which grew near the edge of the forest, or maybe even a delicious blackberry waiting to be plucked. In order for those treasures of nature to be preserved for future generations, I exist. My name is Nature Park Mulladar, and I am the youngest out of three nature parks situated in the Grand Duchy of Luxembourg. I cover an area of 256 square kilometers, stretching from the middle of the country to as far as the eastern border. Moreover, I accommodate 23,000 inhabitants, as well as Luxembourg's oldest town, Ashtonach, with its abbey founded in the 7th century. In reality, man has inhabited my soil for much longer than that. This conclusion is brought forth with the discovery of remains that date back to as far as the Middle Stone Age as well as Roman times. Grinding marks on sandstones that were used to sharpen our ancestors' tools further support these findings. From very early on, I have been subject to mankind's cultivation and molding process. These actions assure the parallel adaption of man and nature bringing forth a process of intertwinement between culture and nature. The meadow orchards raised by our ancestors count among the most representative examples of this development. As of today, these orchards exhibit hundreds of fruit varieties, as well as their own biodiversity. Due to this new cultivation, Flora and fauna have evidently adapted to fit these new conditions brought forth by man. Therefore, it should come to no surprise that modifying land use may have a negative impact on vegetation and wildlife. This is why I have been brought to life. My mission consists in developing projects and finding ways to support the preservation of my cultural and natural heritage. In addition to those man-formed habitats, I am rather proud to shelter nature reserves where natural development without human interference is assured. To counter the changes in land use and climate, a sustainable regional development, driven together with my multiple partners to cover social, economic and ecological aspects, is our challenge of the future.